Welcome into the Game Day Preview. I'm Matt Gashke's Brian Dunseth, and it's Family Reunion Week here at Rio Tinto <laughs> Stadium. New York City FC comes to town. That means Jason Kreiss, Ned Grabovoy, Chris Wingert and company. What's this week going to be like Saturday when they kick off at 8 o'clock? Yeah, I think it's going to be emotional for everyone involved. It'll be emotional for Jason, for Miles, for CJ. It'll be emotional for the players like Winger, like Ned Grabovoy, Josh Saunders, Medi Bellucci, Kwame watson Cerebo, Sebastian Velasquez. The names go on and on. Uh, but I think once that whistle blows, it's going to be about battle. This is a New York C City FC team that's struggled, uh, has put together good segments of games, haven't put together the quality of performances that I personally expected to see. I thought they were going to be a top three team in the Eastern Conference from opening day. Um, but it's going to be a, an emotional first 15 minutes. It's going to be a very fascinating first 15 minutes to watch. Winless in their last nine, New York City FC, but they've got some good pieces to this team. David Villa starts with him. What, what kind of things does he bring to the table? Well, he, he's a game changer, and I would say kind of the equivalent for those who are familiar with the Western Conference and Robbie Keane down at the LA Galaxy. He's the Robbie Keane of the Eastern Conference. David Villa, two goals so far on the season. He's been hampered by a hamstring injury, dealing with a little bit of a groin injury, but he's a difference maker. When you, you're not a difference maker if you don't play for Barcelona, Atletico Madrid, and 97 times for the Spanish national team. He's kind of like Chris Wondolowski in terms of his movement inside the box, his ability to keep his shots on frame, but he's also a playmaker. He's kind of this hybrid where he likes the ball, he wants to connect in the midfield, he loves the triangle passes, and he loves to be rewarded for his runs, uh, evident by his first goal in MLS, the combination play with Ned Grabovoy. One way to shut a guy down like that is to shut off service, but how yeah. else do they keep him quiet? Physicality, yeah. physicality. You gotta beat him up as much as possible. Um, I don't think we've seen a true partner for Villa yet. We've seen Nemec up top. We've seen Patrick Mullins, who last year was with the New England Revolution. Kyrie Shelton, who I thought was a bright, bright young talent coming out of Oregon State. Uh, but they're still trying to figure out who the best partner is, what the best formation is. Uh, with Jason, inexplicably, he'll always be tied to a diamond. It'll be a 4-4-2. But I'm not sure if this group of players gives him the diamond that he's looking for. Uh, I would expect Frank Lampart coming in, being a difference maker. I would expect New York City FC to go out in the international market, bring in another designated player, bring in potentially those second tier guys, uh, strengthen his four through nine, because that's where they've been struggling. We've talked about the visitors. What does RSL do, need to do to get back in the win column, particularly with the yeah. possibility of having three guys back in the lineup? Uh, the, the big news is Javier Morales is back available. Joao Plata is going to be available. Um, you're going to have guys that can come on and, and change the entire complexion of a match. Um, when you have that kind of emotional leadership, I think that kind of counters what's going to happen with New York City FC coming in. Be those familiar faces, but for RSL, once that whistle blows, they've just got to kick New York City FC up and down the field. Uh, they've got to dominate possession through long stretches. They've got to finish their chances. Uh, they've got to make sure they're not giving up silly fouls in and around the final third. Uh, because this is a New York City FC team that's going to want to win for Jason Christ. It's going to want to win for Chris Winger and Ned Grabovoy in particular. Uh, so can RSL from the opening whistle to the final whistle counter all of that? Kickoffs at 8 o'clock from right here at Rio Tinto Stadium. Coverage starts at 7.30 on KMYU.